Hello everybody, welcome to the last video of Let's Replay Rabbids Go Home. This is Vertical Sandwich, how are you all doing? Alright, so, uh, this is our thing. This is our deal. And, uh, you see, there we are. 318.16. Final screen. Stars all around, nothing we can select. We've beaten King of the Pile multiple times. Ta-da. So, uh, now we have some stuff to do as far as, um, kind of just things that were never covered in the LP that, uh, anybody can do. Now, there are figurines that, um, were special pre-order, like, code figurines that the codes are widely available. If you unlock them in one of your saved files, though, they're unlocked everywhere, which is why I don't show myself actually unlocking them. I will give you the codes to unlock them, though. So... And uh, then we're going to look at the Chuck Norris picture, and then we're going to be done. So, and then we'll be on to something bigger and better. Well, maybe not big. Well, yeah, bigger and better. Why not? This wasn't a very big game. I'm just moving all over. I'm just like, I had a commentary for this originally about me apologizing and stuff like that. But we covered that in the last one, so into the the Wii remote we go, or the Wiimote. I think it's Wiimote. Does it say Wiimote on it? I'm looking. It just says Wii Motion Plus inside. Didn't really say anything else. All right. Anywho, so um, in we go. So first off, we're gonna unlock all the accessories, like all the tattoos and stuff that uh, we picked up along the way. Hopefully, I remember to put the the accessories in here as well. I would think that I did. Uh, we go through those very briefly. I'm not going to put, um, every accessory. So, like, these are all the tools. Uh, we've dealt with those before. But, um, so here are the accessories. And this is everything that we unlocked. So, like, a cinder block. And all these go on the top of the rabbit's head. And, like, brushes and mops and pots of spaghetti and a burger and, um lampshade and then obviously the swordfish and things like that. So these all just sit on top of your your rabbit's head. So then we have tattoos and we have five pages of those. We've unlocked every single one of them. Now I'm assuming the ones that were already open had already been unlocked uh, because some of them I used in my templates and they weren't unlocked by the other file that them being unlocked in the other file. So... So there's all these things, buckles, and uh, there's numbers at one point, and yeah, like pockets, and like handprints, and bullseyes, and just weird patterns, eight balls, just all kinds of randomness, puzzle pieces. So obviously, yeah, like they're all the numbers, so... Like, the possibilities are almost endless of kind of rabbits you can create. But, the game gives you um, seven possible pre-made rabbits that are unlocked with codes. So, um, we will, like I said, we will go through those. I will show them, we will talk about the codes, and then we will be going to look at a picture of Chuck Norris. Which is not the usual way that I end my LPs, but... Yeah, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to push on the menu to get, like, to get things, like, to get the screen I had just been on popped back up. It's clearly the paperclip looking thing, or the, yeah, the, it's like, obviously not the spray can. It's that, there we go. So, I'll finish unlocking these. The rabbit looks a little creepy. It looks too realistic for a tattoo on a rabbit. So. So here are the figurines. And uh, they're all the way on the on screen 10 of 10. Except for one is on screen 9. So here we go. And the ones to the left of that lock. I don't know how to get that one with the lock. But this is the Best Buy Geek Squad. There's the Best Buy employee. Uh, and there's a kangaroo, and then there are all these ones like Ubisoft games, like the Assassin Rabbit, um, 
So, uh, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one you unlock with uh, by pressing one one two two A A one one. There you go. All the codes are eight digits, and they're all combinations of the A button, B button, one button, and two button. Prince of Persia and um, Splinter Cell are the other two that I. So here's the assassin one. He's two two one one A A one one. That's how you unlock him. There he is. I will put these in the information below the video. I'm gonna keep doing this. Just I, I think I went through all of them. All right. So that must be the Prince of Persia one, which is one two one two one two A A. I mean, you clearly can, you know, uh, apply these once you've unlocked them. Like I said, these were given to, for pre-orders at certain places and things like that. So here's the kangaroo one. The kangaroo one is one 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 two one two. So eleven eleven twelve twelve. Essentially, there's a little pouch rabbit painted on him. It's a little weird. Okay, so the next one, I don't know what the next one is, I'm watching this as I go. It's the Splinter Cell Rabbit, which is B-B-B-B-A-A-A-A. -A 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 -A. So four B's and four A's. And there you go. So now I get the two best buy ones. I think I leave it on the Geek Squad one, so. Because that's the order they were in. Okay. So, the Best Buy employee one is B11BA22A. And then finally, the Geek Squad, um, the Best Buy Geek Squad Rabbit is uh, AA111122. Now, I tried a bunch of codes. I made up a bunch of codes. And tried them to see if I could unlock that last one. Nobody seems to know how to do it. If you know how to do it, let me know. I'll make a video. Uh, um, but I made a bunch of codes that seemed logical to me. But there seriously are like 40,000 different code combinations. So, I mean, it's not like you could try them. I tried like 20 that I'd made up. Nobody knows. I, nobody knows how to get that open. So, I don't know. Like I said, if you know, let me know. Because nobody knows. So you'd be the person that knows. And I will talk about how you knew and how I found out and make a video for that last rabbit. Because I like being as informative as possible. So we're going to go into high stakes stakes. And uh, you'll see all the stuff I cut out, like th things like this. Like we, this happened between every level. And like I just cut it out. Because it was repetitive. It's essentially just a loading screen. So there we go. High stakes stakes. Now we saw this. I think I mentioned this during the run of the game. But we're going to do a real close up so you can see what's going on. And then we'll be signing off and starting a new LP tomorrow. This is actually being recorded on July 3rd. So like a week ago from when you're watching this. Because I wanted to get the new LP kind of up to check for some stuff. So... So there you go. That's what I uploaded it to. Because I can do that. I have that power. To upload things in advance. So it's just down here. It's just downstairs here. It's in the dojo. It's just a thing on the wall. It's not a thing you unlock. It's not a... But it gets mentioned on a lot of cheat things. And like in forums a lot. So I figured I'd show it. I thought it was funny. Like there it is. There's the picture. And like we're going to use the camera mode to get really close up on it stuff as soon as we kill this verminator so we don't have to worry about him anymore and then we're just gonna do some running around i'll talk for a while we'll be done then you'll be done with me and go do something else so there it is that is the picture of chuck norris and there's a camera mode that'll let us zoom in on it take a picture of it there's our picture
But we can, uh, yeah, we can zoom in and then, like, move over a bit. It's nice. Like, there we go. That's the best shot of the Chuck Norris picture I can give you. So, that's it for this LP, everybody. Uh, yeah. So, this game, in the grave. It's done. It's, we're, we're finished with it. Uh, and rightfully so. Um, I, you know, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, you guys take care. And, uh, I'll see you for the next thing. Uh, unless I lost you doing this. If you, like, watched this and got to the end, it was just like, never again. Like, well, I'm sorry to see you go. Well, but you're probably not listening to this then. Um, anyway, you take care. Uh, thanks, everybody. And, uh, bye.